my name's Tara London. I'm a singer-songwriter from London. Um, I've been writing songs really since I was about five, actually, um, inspired by artists such as Doris Day back then and kind of the old blues singers like Ed Fitzgerald. Um, and basically, kind of music for me just became a really huge part of my life because I love the way that it makes you feel a certain emotion, be it whether it's happy or sad or excited or angry or whatever it is. And, you know, lyrics and melody, when married together perfectly, create magic and they actually make you feel something real and tangible. Um, one of my favourite songs actually was written by Van Morrison. Um, called Brown Eyed Girl and it's a song that used to be sung to me by <laughs> numerous members of my family when I was younger and aside from obviously the uh, kind of connections um, to the fact that I've actually got brown eyes um, it was just a song that kind of uplifted me and made me think about love I guess in a really kind of romantic and movie like way um, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much. Um, my other kind of most favourite song in the world is The Beatles and While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And basically that was more of a lyric thing for me because I kind of felt that, you know, lyric, the lyrics in that song really made me feel a huge connection to music and how melody can make you feel something even if there isn't actually any words. Um, and just the whole kind of message of the song about, you know, an instrument actually kind of creating an emotive feeling while my guitar gently weeps tells me that the guitar is kind of crying out a melody and I just thought that was really beautiful. If you get it right, you could come away with three minutes of oral perfection, if you like. A bit like those old Tamla Motown records that had an aching lyric fabulous melody, it was beautifully played, it was fabulously produced, and it would transport you out of the radio from your dull humdrum existence into some fantasy for two and a half minutes. And for me, I think the perfect pop song is Back for Good, Take That. Uh, it's just got that wonderful hook, and uh, it just gets in your mind. That's what you need. I tend to be a bit old-fashioned about the songs I like, but then I'm a little geezer. So, you know, my all-time favourite is, is Nat King Cole singing Stardust. It's just, the lyrics are so beautiful. I'm a bit of a lyric now. Yeah, I like a melody. But the clever lyrics of people like Rodgers and Hart, and Rodgers and Hammerstein, and, and indeed um, Tim Rice, that's the kind of thing I love. Hi, I'm Alan Jones, and you probably think that my favourite song is Walking in the Air. Uh, actually, it is a, a really lovely song, and I was really fortunate to sing it, and I quite enjoy singing it now. But my favourite song at the moment is If by Bread. I think it's the perfect marriage of words and music. When I do it in concert, I just do it with one voice and one guitar, and the true meaning and the shape of the song and the sentiment of the song really come through loud and clear. For me, best songwriting are songs that have something to say, with a good lyric and a good tune. I work in musical theatre, currently in Phantom of the Opera, and the best song in that show is Music of the Night, which I love singing. It's got a great, great tune to it, great lyrics. Um, looking back, my, my favourite songwriter and performer is Bruce Springsteen, and he wrote some fantastic songs, Born to Run, Born in the USA, although it sounds like a heavy rock song, if you listen to the lyrics, they mean a hell of a lot. So if you can get something with great lyrics, great tune, you're onto a winner. I've been asked what my favourite song is, and that is a little bit like saying, what, what's your favourite meal? Well, actually I do know, that's my mum's lasagna, but my favourite my favorite song, I don't know where you start. I, but I'm going to pick one, I'm just going to pick one, only because I've just finished performing it on Weekend Wogan, and that's the song, If I Can Dream. It is absolutely one, it is my favourite Elvis Presley song. I love the way it builds, I love the words, I love what it stands for, but there's just something magic about that gospel chord pro progression, uh, that, and the, it's got a fantastic bridge section, it lit, does a classic thing where at the end of the bridge there's a beautiful modulation that takes you up, a 
tone. It's a classic thing. A lot of records do that. They lift, they lift their music by going up a key. It can be a semitone, or it can be a tone. It can be anything, up four, whatever. But a little lift at the end of the bridge is always good. And If I Can Dream has a wonderful lift. It takes the song from C into D, and for that last line, it's it, 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 definitely one of my favourite songs of all time.